Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Theoni and this is Thrifty Divas. If it is your first time stopping by, welcome. Today's video is going to be a thrift store haul from yesterday. Henny's in here so you'll see her moving around. So I went to the thrift store yesterday looking for a bookshelf for my office. I had no luck, um, but I did manage to buy a whole bunch of other stuff that I wasn't necessarily looking for, but I bought it anyway. And uh, I am supposed to go pick up a bookshelf type of thing off of Facebook Marketplace this evening, so we will see how that goes. Remember, it's all people-y out there, so we will see. Uh, yeah. Oh, and if you don't know, I know a lot of you are not fully intermeshed in the story, but I am an attorney, if you are unaware. And I have uh, recently signed a lease on an office and I'm opening up my own solo law firm. So that is all the stuff that I'm buying uh, when you hear me say I bought something for my office because I'm still in the process of setting it up. So, okay, let's get started. So the first thing I found, I just walked by and I saw it. Now, this is Island Thrift in Selden, which is really the only place I go to. I don't have any Goodwills local or Salvation Armies or anything else um, near me, really. So that's where I go. So if you are local, it's Island Thrift in Selden. Once in a blue moon, I hit the one in Medford on 112 also, which is also an Island Thrift. So they had four half price tickets yesterday because it's sunday and that's when they do four so green was one of them so this says a dollar 99 and it was half off so it was only a dollar so it is this uh kind of like coated metal plate holder for outside and the only reason why i got this especially for a dollar is because i happen to have the exact same exact same color and everything the rectangular one that holds the napkins and then it's got the three compartments for utensils which i had also picked up at a thrift store several years ago so now i have the whole set i was like yay cool so that's why i got that for the summertime all right next i wanted a nice little clock for my office to put on a desk or on a shelf or something like that. I didn't want to spend tons and tons of money, but I found this clock. I don't even know what it's made of. It is super duper heavy. And it does, it says made in China. Um, I just thought it was really, really pretty. It needs a battery, so I don't, I haven't been able to test if it works, but we shall see. I don't even know if that's a regular one. I think it's a regular one. I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see because there's something else I got to show you later on in this haul. So this was $3.99 half off because orange was another color. So this was only $2. I mean, come on. And it's so heavy. So hopefully that works. If not, it's still super pretty. I don't know. All right. Then I... For all the baking and cooking I do, it's hard to believe that I only have a plastic Dollar Tree measuring cup, liquid measuring cup, a two cup measuring cup. So I think it's time I got myself some nice stuff finally and I can never, sorry about the sun, it's like, ooh, I can never find them at a decent price. But yesterday I lucked out and I did. So. The first one I found is this Pyrex. It is Pyrex. There it is. If you can see that. Pyrex uh, two cup glass measuring cup. This was $4.99 half off, so it was only $2.50. Now, I did try to look it up, and I don't know if they're like hard to find or I, I don't know what the deal is, but it was ridiculously expensive, and I feel like that's not normal but this is the price that I found on that. Then I also lucked out and found a four cup Pyrex measuring cup and it was $2.99 full price, but $2.99, what? So for $5.50, $5.49, I got these two and now I can throw out my cheesy dollar store plastic ones. So I was very excited about that. Then, for fun, I found this old school Panasonic 
wood grain electric pencil sharpener. How freaking cool. Oh my God, do I really need it? No, nope, not at all. But it just, I just loved it for the nostalgia and all that. And I was able to plug it in and test it out with a pencil at the thrift store and it does work and it does sharpen. It was kind of pricey, but this is like a piece of history to me. So that was $6.99, but I love it. I'm so excited. It's the little things. All right, so I got that. Then I also was wanting a really nice tissue box. So first I had like a, like a metal one, like a silver metal one in my hand, a cover. I'm talking about tissue box cover. And, uh, and I was going to get that, but then I saw this one and I was like, wow, this is really, really beautiful. Um, it does feel like real wood. I don't see any type of brand on it or anything, but I love it. And I also love this little hole. It's slightly unique. And I like the fact that it's a smaller opening so that you won't be able to see the design of the tissue box underneath little details i know so i picked this up from dollar tree yesterday and these scotties happen to have a really a big clear opening so that's this is not going to show at all and i'm very excited about that yeah look at that i love this i absolutely love this so i picked that up and it was 2.99 full price you cannot beat that and i think it looks very fancy very high end and i'm loving it so that's going to be my tissue box in my office yeah i love it i love that so much okay okay next so oh hello son again hi so um as I was online to pay, I was going down the aisle uh, that had a whole bunch of like fancy stuff on it. And I happened to see this. That aisle is where they keep their Linux. So I saw this Linux clock. Now this takes, this is what I was talking about with the battery stuff, okay? This one takes one of those shorter batteries. It's like a double A, but it, it's shorter, like a camera battery. So I just ordered what I think it is uh, off of Amazon for $2.79. I thought that was good. So we got to really wait to see if that, if that works. Now, the other clock said 1.5 volt in there as well, like this one does, but it looked longer. It looked like an actual double A, so we shall see i don't know what is going on here it has a key, a cover there you go so it's got a cover for the battery as well can't wait to see if this works so the price on the bottom it says arch column clock and i know it's blurry let's see if you can see that no it is lennox it's right there lennox it says 87.50 on the bottom of that price tag right there, 87.50. So hopefully this works. And I was thinking of putting the other one back, but I was like, this is $2. Am I really gonna, you know, whatever. This one was $18.99 half price. So it was $9.50. And that's just amazing. That's just amazing. So hopefully I get lucky on these, but gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Then I found two pairs of fleece little pajama pants for my son. These are Carter's and these happen to be size five. I find Carter's runs a little small. So these are size five. He's usually a four. Four T's too small, four fits. It's weird. I don't know. But this was $2.59. They look pretty much brand new. These nice fleece pajama pants. And these, this was $2.59 as well. I thought this was a very unique pattern. I love this. So these are great with just a t-shirt or a hoodie. 
hanging around the house and for sleep in this colder weather. So there was no tops, but that does not matter. This is so annoying. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, then I'm pushing my cart through the aisle and something caught my attention out of the corner of my eye and I was and and then I got this like flashback to my childhood and I turned my card around and I went and this is what I saw blueberries for sale I had this book when I was little and I loved it and I was obsessed with it and I read it over and over and over again just seeing the cover and the illustration like out of the corner of my eye in my periphery brought me back to my childhood and I saw it and I looked at the illustrations and I was like oh my gosh okay just for me to even have this back in my life is amazing I just love having things like that but now I can read this with my son and it can be part of his life too and it was a dollar ninety nine half off so it was only a dollar absolutely amazing I'm so excited about that all right what else we got okay then in the bags of their hanging random things I saw these and there was another bag of them with different colors and I wanted to get it but I was like do I want to spend this much money on I, I don't know look at these guys do you see these? Okay, this was $3.99 full price. The other bag was as well. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six shoes. Six shoes in here. Look at this. They're velvet. They have pearls and lace, and I can hang those in my tree or sit them on a shelf. I don't even know. So this one has the burgundy ones. It has two of the burgundy ones, two of this with like a needle point type thing. It says made in the Philippines. I'm gonna go back and get that other bag if it's still there, aren't I? And then two of these. So it's white and then like a rose color with little tiny pearls. Velvet, oh my goodness. So $3.99 for six of these. And they had another bag with different ones. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Then I saw this. This old school wood grain VHS storage container. Hello. There, there are the drawers. And this was $3.99. So I actually picked this up for William Patty's son for Christmas. So I'll be sending that to him for Christmas. He has one identical to that, so this way he can have a matching one. I changed our angle a little bit. Sun is still terrible, but we're finishing up, so let's keep going. Okay, another thing I didn't necessarily need, but I saw it and I was like, what is this? So I tried to look this up and I really couldn't find it. So I don't know if they like don't make it anymore or what, but it is this Sunbeam Heritage Edition hand mixer, okay? So it was on the shelf with this. I was able to plug it in and test it out and it does work. And I think it is super, super cute. So then I saw Ask for Parts. Now, normally that's when it needs a power cord or something like that, like in the back. So I went and asked them. They had a hard time finding it, but then they finally found it. And my husband's home. <laughs> and then they bring me out this. I said, what is this? So it's just like the stand for this when there's no whisks on to stand on there. I don't 
need that. But then I opened up the drawer and I found these. So it has a pair of the regular mixers and it's got these, a set of these, like uh, pastry spirals, like, you know, like uh, dough hooks or whatever. So I thought that was really cool. And with these whisks, you can make an amazing meringue. It's just all very exciting. And this was $10.99, half price. So it was only $5.50 for all of this. And I think that's just really nifty. All right. Then, I just want to make sure I got everything here. Okay. Then I found this pillow that says movie night. And it's got the popcorn and the 3D glasses and tickets and film here. Just so cool. And the, the clapper board. And so I thought this was absolutely perfect for downstairs in my movie room on the couch. I was so excited. And it was $3.99. So I thought that was totally fair, especially for a specialty pillow like that. So I'm excited about that. I haven't even shown that to my husband. Then I got, let me show you this since it's falling down. Okay. I got this beautiful faux fur blanket. It was $6.99. But then I also looked at the tag and it's Serengeti. So I looked up Serengeti. I found it on a couple places. So I'll show you. I found it on Amazon and I found it on Kirkland's. Um, just to give you an idea of the price. But it is so ultra soft and I absolutely love this thing. I'm working on making my bed more furry and cozy and stuff for the winter. Then for $2.99, I found this we're not going to talk about the Cowboys, but yeah, for then I found this beautiful like roll pillow in this really pretty champagne color and it's got these like rope like tassels on the end so i got this for my office for that wooden office chair that i found just to put it against the the back on the bottom to make it a little more comfortable and it'll look beautiful too and this was only a dollar 99 and then for my bed for my winter thoughts <laughs> I found this gorgeous, like, cable knit, super, super soft pillow. It's got a zipper case. And it's knit on the back as well. But here's the really nice cable knit sweater print. And this is Threshold Toss Pillow, so it's Target. And it says, if you can see that there, $24.99. And I paid $2.99. Yeah. Pretty amazing. And I believe the very last thing in this thrift store haul, I'm going to need my friend Sadie from Sweet Sadie JTV to please click off. Thank you, my love. All right. So once she's gone, I got something for Sadie for Christmas too. <laughs> so this is one of those no, th no, so throws say that three times fast. No, so throws. If you know what I'm talking about, that you tie all along the ends like that. And this happens to be i got to fix this one. Hold on one second. Okay. 
this happens to be a Yankees one and this is nice and super soft and then the underside is this gray fleece so I will be sending that to her for Christmas and where's the price this was a steal there it is $2.99 yeah so I think she's gonna absolutely love that and that's it that's it for this round of thrift store hauling but I seem to live there lately with my office stuff but I'm winding down because I pretty much have everything I have so I hope you enjoyed uh I'm just yeah okay that is everything so I hope you enjoyed today's video sorry for the sun but I can't control the sun and it's too cold outside and it's too loud inside my house so in here we deal with the sun oh well all right, so thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.